Hello, I'm back in the Dickinson Family Education Conservatory, again with our wonderful vanilla plants. And I know you've seen them before in the spring for the orchid show when they were in bloom, but I wanted to come back and show you that after the bloom comes the fruit. And on, an, on this particular vanilla orchid, the fruit is what we call a vanilla bean. Botanically, it's not actually a bean. Beans are only in the pea family, and this plant is in the orchid family. But colloquially, we call it a vanilla bean because it does look long and kind of bean-like in appearance. Part of the reason why vanilla is so expensive, you know, good, you know, pure vanilla, is that it takes so long for these beans to form. And they only form after they've been hand-pollinated. So Brandy Eide on our staff has been hand-pollinating these plants every day when she sees them. And after all this hard work, we're only getting one vanilla bean so far. And it'll take many months to grow into its full size. And then if we were commercial vanilla producers and we had enough of this, we would then have to go through a multi-month process of heating and cooling and exposing it to sun and all kinds of different things that's called fermentation, although not a true fermentation, to turn that into the vanilla flavors that we associate it with the vanilla that we buy in the supermarket. So an amazing orchid, a really labor intensive plant to produce into the amazing product of vanilla, but something that you can see right here at San Diego Botanic Garden.